Hello everyone, in this brief video I want to show you what is an HTTP GET request and what's the dif difference between HTTP 1.0 request and HTTP 1.1 request. So basically, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm, this is a telnet client, it's called P uh, Putty, you can find it on the internet, it's really easy, just google it. So I'm connected to google.it through our telnet and I'm gonna send a request, a get request. What a get request does is basically it asks from, for a resource from the server. So I'm gonna get an HTTP 1.0. What I'm gonna get is the, this, you see this one here? It's the path, it's the basic path of what I wanna get. So I wanna get www.google.it slash so it's basically the, the real basic homepage. I go on return and host google point it. So this is h um, ttp 1.0 let's see what happens connection closed by remote host. So what happened here? What happened is I actually got a 200 uh, status code which means alright you it means okay success all right i got re the resource you're looking for let's see how i can handle it and uh it basically responds with the payload so this is basically the the header of the fa of the http response and this is the payload it starts from here and it's obviously an html page with the code and of course i will not um go in depth here but it's basically a series of code which um transforms in what we see on the web on our web browser browser all right so now i'm going to show you that basically what happened here is that we got uh the um, the content of the web page and then it closed it said all right connection closed you got what you wanted get out of my face Alright, that's basically what happened. Let's see what HTTP 1.1 would happen. So you get a get HTTP 1.1, which is obviously newer. You press and return, and you go on www.google.it. And what happened? We did not have that message. We did not have that message before. Let's see. We had uh, HTTP 1.1, 200 OK. So what happened here is the response is obviously different and uh, we are still connected to Google as a matter of fact now let's see um, let's see if I can get other stuff I'm not sure let's see get um, slash uh, pick a brain that's HTML, HTTP 1.1. And let's see what happened. We have another status code. It's 404. It's really common. You must have found this on the internet at least once in your life because it's so common. It means what are you looking for is not here. You're looking for something that is pre wrong. So get out of my face, this is not the thing you're looking for, There, and even if there is, uh, if it, it is the thing you're looking for, it is not here, I do not have the re this resource. And this is basically what, what happens, so we are just saying that this status code is completely different from this one. So this one is telling us okay, this one is telling us not found, we have a problem. You see, you, you got it written right here. 200, okay. 404, not found. All right, and this is basically what happens here with Google. And what if, for example, we get redirected? We have another uh, status code. Of what if we send a bad request? We have another status code. So um, I will provide in a YouTube link a simple table of all the status codes, which will be useful for you in the next videos probably because we are gonna, I'm gonna show you how Wireshark works so uh, see you next time